blue. Uh, I'm William Blake, uh, and this is my submission for Dive In Productions Dive Into Monologues. This will actually be like one of the first performance pieces I've done publicly, I think. Um, so, for my partner on the project, uh, Jewel Beth Davis, she wrote the monologue, uh, and this is called A Duck Story. I was driving down Route 9. You know, the road that crosses the estuary. I was going over to the library. I had to slow down halfway there because I saw this plain brown duck. A mallard, I think, standing in the middle of the road. So I stopped. The duck looked a little confused. It would start crossing one way and then change its mind and go another. The car behind me stopped. We waited. Then a third car came up behind him. The jerk in a truck. He immediately started honking and honking his horn. We live in a fairly small town. Nobody really honks much. Not like in the city. Suddenly, the third guy pulls out to the left into the oncoming traffic lane. Guns his engine like some big shot. And plows down that duck. One second the duck was there. Kind of pretty. A little loopy maybe. And then just gone. You couldn't hear anything. Which surprised me because all my windows were open. And all I could see was the machine gun stream of feathers breathing to Duck Hamburg. I stuck my head out the window and screamed, ASSHOLE! YOU FUCKING ASSHOLE! I was so angry. Who gave him the right to think that he was more important than that little brown duck? I drove kind of fast to catch up with him, honking my horn to the beat, the band, and reciting his license plate number over and over again. 57, 83, 57. 83, 57, 83, 57, 83, 83, damn you! So I wouldn't forget. I drove kind of fast to catch up to him. He was driving like a nutcase. Dogged the ass of the car in front of him. He took a right, and I went right. When I got to the library, I went to the children's section and sat down in one of the little blue plastic chairs over in the corner was a round table with picture books of them. And under that table, on the floor, in the corner, was a duck. This duck fallen behind and forgotten I called the cops on that asshole. I wasn't going to let him get away with that. No one should be able to hurt an animal that way and get away with it. I mean, he did it intentionally. It wasn't an accident. They said they'd call me back. The police just acted like it was no big deal. They didn't seem like they'd follow up on it. They said it was the chief's son.
I'm wondering which way would the duck turn now? I mean, would she walk in the path of that car, or would she turn around and walk the other way? And that was The Duck Story by Jewel Beth Davis. Let's go ahead and make sure we put out a good show. All right. Have a good day, guys. Hope you're enjoying yourself in the world out there.